Samahan niyo ako at pag-usapan natin ang tungkol sa Factor Theorem. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matu. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So for today, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa Factor Theorem. But, before we proceed, make sure muna na napanood ninyo ang tungkol sa Remainder Theorem. Ayan. So panoorin muna natin yung Remainder Theorem bago tayo mag-proceed dito sa discussion natin for today. Ayan. So let's start. Let's have our first given. Is x plus 1 a factor? of x raised to 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x. So, tinatanong sa atin, factor kaya ang x plus 1 nito, nitong polynomial na ito? Ang other way para masolve yan ay i-factor natin ito kung marunong tayo mag-factor ng ganitong form of polynomial tapos dapat lalabas doon yung x plus 1. Kapag nakita mong lumabas yung x plus 1, ibig sabihin, factor nga siya Factor ito, nitong polynomial na yan. Pero, dahil sa factor theorem, mas mapapabilis ang buhay natin sa pagkuha or sa pag-alam kung factor ba ito o hindi. Ayan. And anong gagamitin natin paraan? So, kaya sabi ko sa inyo kanina, make sure na panood nyo yung remainder theorem. Kasi yun din naman ang process na gagawin natin para malaman kung factor ba ito or hindi. Paano yan gagawin? So, let's do the remainder theorem. Pero, here's the thing. Sa factor theorem, para masabi natin na factor ito, factor sa x plus 1, itong mahabang yan na polynomial, dapat ang sagot natin sa remainder ay 0. Always 0. Again, I repeat, dapat ang sagot natin sa remainder ay 0. Kung hindi yan 0, ibig sabihin, hindi ito factor nito. Kapag finactor natin ito, hindi lalabas sa x plus 1. Kung hindi, 0 yung sagot natin. So, let's proceed in our solution. So, let's do the remainder theorem na process. So, ito, equate natin sa 0. x plus 1 is equal to 0. Tapos, lipat natin. So, magiging siyang negative 1. So, x is equal to negative 1. Tapos, next process doon, Gamitin natin ito, yung x raised to 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x. Then lahat ng x na makikita mo, papalitan natin ng negative 1. Ayan. So negative 1 na naka sa 4 plus negative 1 na naka sa 3 plus negative 1 na naka squared plus negative 1. So lahat ng x doon, napalitan na natin ngayon ng negative 1. Now, ito yung shortcut para malaman na mas madali yung sign. Kapag kasi negative, crucial ito. Dapat alam natin kung ano magiging sign. So, kapag even numbers, gaya ng 4 sa kanang 2, positive yung magiging sagot nito. Kapag add number, gaya nito sa kanito, magiging negative yung sagot. So, eto, 4 times mo yung multiply yung negative 1 sa sarili niya. So, that's negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. That will give us 1. Ayan. So, kaya positive 1 siya dito. Plus, eto naman, Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1 still. Negative 1 pa rin yung sagot. Ito naman, kaya siya positive kasi nga naka-even number ang exponent. So negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. Tapos ito naman, positive times negative, magiging negative 1 na lang. Now, sabi natin, para masabing factor ito nito, dapat maging 0 yung sagot. And, yan, 0 yung sagot natin kapag sinolve pa natin ito. 1 plus negative 1 ay 0, plus 1, that's 1, minus 1, 0. So, 0 yung naging sagot. So, therefore, since sabi nga natin sa factor theorem, kapag 0 po yung naging sagot, ito yung magiging conclusion natin. Yes, x plus 1 is a factor of x raised to 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x. Ibig sabihin, kapag finactor natin ito, lalabas pa rin yung x plus 1. Ayan, Again, magiging yes yung sagot dyan kapag zero ang sagot sa remainder. 
Magiging no ang sagot dito kapag hindi ito zero. Ayan. So, yun ang idea ng factory theorem. Make sure maging zero yung sagot. Or make sure zero ang magiging sagot. Para maging factory siya nito. Ayan. So, ito yung proof para masabing factor nga ito. Ayan. So, ito kasi kapag finactor natin, ito yung lalabas. So, x multiplied by x squared plus 1 tapos x times 1. O, diba? Masasabi natin factor ito, yung x plus 1, kapag lumabas siya doon. Ayan. Factor yan, kasi lumabas siya dito. Diba? Nung finactor natin ito, lumabas pa rin yung x plus 1. So, ibig sabihin, factor nga siya nitong polynomial na ito. Ayan. So, let's have another example. Is x minus 2 a factor of x cubed plus x, I mean 6x squared plus 11x plus yung 6? So again, para malaman kung factor yan or hindi, check natin yung remainder, kung 0 or hindi. Kapag 0, factor yan. Kapag hindi, ibig sabihin hindi 0 yung sagot natin. So let's do that. Equate sa 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. Ilipat. So yung negative do kapag nilipat magiging positive. So x is equal to 2. Gamitin ito, palitan ng 2, ganun lang, yung same step, lahat ng x, palitan mo ng 2, ayan, kaya yung x cube naging 2 raised to 3, 2 cube, plus yung 6, syempre nandun pa rin yan, tapos 2, naging na yung x na naka-squared, plus 11 times 2, plus 6. So lahat ng x, okay na, napalitan natin ng 2 lahat. Now, ato 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. Ayan. Tapos ito naman, ang 2 squared, that's 2 times 2, that is 4. Plus, 11 times 2, that's 22, plus yung 6, kopya lang. Solve muna natin yung nakamultiply pa. So, 8 plus 24 plus 22 plus 26, ang magiging sagot dyan ay 60. Now, factor or hindi? Definitely not. Hindi. No, x minus 2 is not a factor of x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6. Bakit ka mo? Hindi kasi 0 yung naging sagot. Diba? Sabi natin, magiging factor lang ito ng x cubed plus x plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6 kapag 0 yung sagot. So, since hindi 0 ang sagot, hindi yan factor. Ganun lang po yun. Kasimple. Ayan. Ang proof ay ito. Kapag kasi finactor natin to, ito yung magiging factored form niya. x plus 1 x plus 2, x plus 3. So, ito yung tatlong factors ng polynomial na yan. And, hindi natin makikita si x minus 2 dito. Tama? May x plus 2. Right. Pero, hindi siya x minus 2. So, hindi pa rin talaga siya magiging factor. Dapat parehong pareho. Ayan. Ayan. So, let's have another example. Is x minus 3 a factor of x cubed minus 4x squared? Minus 27x plus 90. Ayan. So, let's do the process ng remainder theorem. x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, ilipat natin si negative 3. Magiging siyang positive 3. Right? Tapos, etong 3, we're going to substitute that here. Ayan. So, yung x cubed minus 4x squared minus 27x plus 90, papalitan lahat dyan ng x na makita mo ng 3. Ayan. So, magiging siyang 3 cubed. Minus 4, naging 3 squared. Minus 27 times 3, plus 9. Ayan. Then, solve na natin. Yung 3 na naka-cube, tatlong beses i-multiply yung 3 sa sarili. 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27. Tapos, copy na yung negative 4. Ang 3 na naka-square, that's 3 times 3, that's 9. Right? Tapos, negative 27 times 3, magiging sagot ay negative 81. Tapos, yung plus 90, copy lang natin. Solve na natin yung naka-multiply pa. Negative 4 times 9. That's negative 36. The rest, kopyahin. 27, negative 81, 90, negative 36. Dito yan. Product niya. Kapag sinod natin ito, ang sagot ay 0. Yes. And sabi natin, kapag 0 ang naging sagot, magiging yes yan. Yes, x minus 3 is a factor of x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x plus 90. Kasi nga, 0 yung naging remainder natin. Ayan. Here's the proof. Ito yung proof na factor nga talaga ito, ito, nitong polynomial na yan. When we factor this, ito yung magiging factored form niya. x minus 3 times x plus 5 times x minus 6. 
So, lumabas yung x minus 3 dito sa factored form. So, kapag nakita mo to dito sa factored form, ibig sabihin, factor nga siya ng polynomial na yan. So, ganun lang po ang idea ng factor theorem. Make sure lang na 0 yung lalabas sa remainder. Kapag 0, factor yon. Kapag hindi, hindi yun factor. Ganun lang po siya. Now, if you are ready, let's have our humor jail. So, is x minus 2 a factor of x cubed plus 9x squared plus 6x minus 56? So, I'll pause for a while now, and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So, let's answer this. Ayan. So, tinatanong sa atin, factor ba ito nito? So, let's do yung process ng remainder theorem natin. So, equate muna ito sa 0. Magiging siyang x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then, transpose. Magiging siyang positive 2 sa kabila. Then, using this, isubstitute natin yung 2 dito sa value ng mga x na yan. Or, dito sa mga x na makikita natin. So, magiging siyang 2 cubed plus 9, naka 2 squared, plus 6 times 2 minus 56. Then, solve natin. Ang 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2 times 2, so that's 8. Plus, 9, kopya lang. Yung 2 squared ay 4, kaya ito yon. Plus, 6 times 2 ay 12, minus 56. Solve muna natin yung 9 times 4, that's 36. The rest, kopya. 8, 12, negative 56, ito ay 36. Tapos, solve natin. 8 plus 36 i 44 plus 12 i 56 minus 56 i 0. So, ayan. So, kung 0 ang naging sagot natin, ibig sabihin, yes, x minus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus 9x squared plus 6x minus 56. So, ayan po ang conclusion natin. Bakit ka mo? Kasi 0 yung naging remainder natin. Magiging factor lang yung dalawa kapag 0 ang remainder natin. Ayan. And here's the proof. Ayan. Kapag kasi factor yan, ito yung magiging sagot. x minus 2, x plus 4, x plus 7. And lumabas ang x plus 2 sa naging factored form niya. So, ibig sabihin, factor nga siya ng polynomial na yan. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something today. And I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please don't forget to click subscribe and click also the notification bell para updated ka sa mga latest videos dito sa Youmore PH. And don't forget to share this to your friends as well and to those parents who need this lesson the most. And don't forget that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag you more pH. Bye bye. See you in our next video.